everyone, um, I'm back. I know it's been a few weeks since I filmed, um, but I've been kind of busy. Um, I'm a senior in high school, so it's been kind of hectic. I've been having to do a lot of stuff and like getting everything together for graduation and prom and stuff like that. So it's been kind of hectic and my dog is coming. Come here. Come here. Say hi. <laughs> look. Look at the camera. Look. No. Okay. Well, he's going to be in this video too, I guess, because he likes to go lay down. Go lay down. So like I was saying, it's my senior year and um, I've been kind of busy getting everything together. So um, I finally have time to sit down and film a video. And I know y'all are like requesting makeup and hair tutorials, which I will get to that. I promise I will. I'm just going to wait until I graduate and I have just a few more weeks left of school. And then I'll get that up for you guys. Um, I just don't have very much time for that. So um, I'm going to do a quick haul for you guys so I can get a video up. Um, I just went to MAC recently. I got some stuff. And um, it's the bag. I don't know, I, I show the bag like it matters, but um, I got a few things. It's not going to be a very big haul, but I just thought I'd share with you some of the stuff I got. So to get started, um, I got two lipsticks, and um, I love MAC lipsticks, um, which my favorite one I have, and I, I swear I lost it, I don't know where it's at, it's Brave by MAC. It's my favorite one, and I, I don't know where it went. It might be in one of my purses or something, but um, I got two more lipsticks, and um, I've been wanting Twig for a while, and I just haven't picked it up, but um, I decided to put it on my list this time and pick it up, and I haven't used this one yet. I've had this stuff for a few days, and I've used... Um, a couple of the things, but um, I still have put it back in the packaging. But this one is a satin, and it looks like this. It's just kind of like a like a dark nude brown color. And Kylie, this is one of Kylie Jenner's favorite lipsticks. I read somewhere, and it's so beautiful. It has like a purplish pink tint to it. That's what it looks like. It's so beautiful and I can't wait to use it. It's like, this is like the perfect nude for fall and winter. So this is probably going to be my go-to nude for that. And the next lipstick I got is Pure Zen. And um, I heard Carly, never, I think it's like Carly Bell or something. Um, I heard her talking about this and it looked really beautiful on her. So I decided to get it. And it's a cream sheen. And again, it's called Pure Zen. Sorry, my phone is going off. It's called Pure Zen, and it's coming off as a pink, more pink on camera, but um, this is more of like a, um, like a peachy nude, I would say, and this is probably the closest to a, like a straight nude that I have. I mostly have pink nudes. Um, so this is way different than what I have in my drawer, but that's what that looks like. And it's so pretty with, um, MAC Spice, and that's, like, my go-to lip liner. But it's so beautiful if you just, like, um, do the lip liner and then put this on and then kind of, um, fade it and, I can't describe it, like, kind of ombre it in words, and it's so beautiful. So that is Pure Zen. And then I got two eyeshadows, and these, I just got the, um, pot versions, and I want to get the, um, Z palette. I still haven't got it. I have a bunch of, here, I'll show you, a bunch of, like, empty, not empty, um, MAC eyeshadows that are, like, still in the pot in my drawer. As you can see right there, it's going to fall out if I have a bunch of them right there and I still haven't gotten around to getting the Z palette I just need to order it but um so I just decided to get the pots because they're cheaper and I don't need the single eyeshadows because it takes up too much room but I got um the first one I got is Dazzle Light which I've already had this before I just ran out and it's one of my favorite eyeshadows. I love putting it on the lid and in the inner corner. It's just so beautiful. And it makes your, ugh, it makes your eyes pop. Because I have blue eyes. So I like to use like a, a shimmery champagne. That's what that looks like. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. 
but also this is really pretty as a highlight I know that's weird using like an eyeshadow as a highlight but that's one of my tricks if I want to change it up or something I use a eyeshadow as a highlighter so I got dazzle light and then the other one I got is MAC Soft Brown, which is this pretty basic color. I just decided to get it so I could put it in my palette, um, my Z palette, and just have it right there for a transition color. But that's what I'm planning on using it for as a transition color. And I'm pretty sure everyone has this color. It's just a matte light brown color. It's nothing too special. I've already used it a couple times and it's a beautiful color and I can't wait to get a palette and put all my colors in there so it's all organized. <sighs> I just need to buy it. But those are the two eyeshadows I got. And then I got a bronzer and this is the bronzing powder in bronze and I I think it I think it was um, PB Bunny 97 talking about this bronzer and um, I've been wanting it forever and this is what it looks like. It's just I didn't want to get golden because I'm I was worried that was gonna be more um, more so like terracotta color and I wanted it to be more of like a bronzy I don't know how to describe it but that's what it looks like it's really beautiful it has like tiny shimmers in it I I use this as an all-over um, bronzer because I have my contour color but um, that's what it looks like it's really beautiful and it looks really pretty just to bronze up the skin. Um, not just I just put it like right over my um, contour. And then I got a blush. And this blush is called Love Cloud. And I've never like been obsessed with any like blush in my whole life. This is so like I'm so lame. But this is okay again it's in Love Cloud and it's a satin. And it looks like this. Oh, it's a medium pink, okay. But when you put it on your skin, it's like the most beautiful blush I've ever seen in my life. Here, let me just watch it. This is what it looks like swatched. Right there. And um, when you have a tan, um, it's the most beautiful blush like ever. You just put it right above your contour. I have it on today. I don't know if you can see it, but... Um, it's the most beautiful blush I've ever seen in my life. I I feel like I'm going to use this to the very last bit. And I'll probably get another one. Probably. Most likely. But um, yeah. I love that blush. And then lastly. I got in the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. And this is just the um, finishing spray. And I know everyone's like. Oh it's just water in a bottle. But I thought maybe this would be great for like wetting my brushes. I've already used it like spraying. Um, on my face before I apply my makeup and it fills. It just refreshes my skin because I don't do my makeup like right away after I wash my face in the morning. Um, so I just thought maybe this would be good as like a refresher before I do my makeup or like um, wetting my brush um, before I put an eyeshadow on to make it more um, like pigmented and like apply easily. But uh, yeah, it's just the MAC Fix Plus. And yeah! That is all I got at MAC. I know it's not that big of a haul, but I decided to show you. And if you want more hauls, just comment below. I'll do those for you. And I'll also do the hair tutorial, makeup tutorial for you. I know it's taking me forever, but I'm just super busy. But I promise I'll get those up for you. And if you have any videos to recommend, just comment below. And I'll make sure to get those up for you. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.